Good morning, Leicester Middle School Wildcats. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about geography. We talk about, when talking about geography, we are going to focus on the five themes of geography. So today's objective, uh, we'll be able to identify and give specific examples of the five themes of geography. Materials that you will need, you will need pencils, and note worksheets. These note worksheets are going to be used for taking notes. So this is going to be the worksheet that you will use to take notes with. When we talk about the four components of a map, you will need these worksheets. You'll need this worksheet. And there's going to be a section where you label this map. When you label this map, uh, you do not have to color each country like in Africa, but you're going to just color the whole continent. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there. All right, so geography, let's look at geography. So the definition of geography. Geography is the study of, of where people, places and things are located and the way things uh, the, way, the way that different things relate to each other in specific locations and ways that places connect with each other. So the first theme of geography is location. The location tells you where you are on the globe. And there are two types of location. The first location is uh, absolute location. And it tells you exactly where you are uh, using lat latitude and longitude. Latitude. Are the latitude is the imaginary lines uh, that are drawn from east to west and they measure north to south. And longitude are the imaginary lines on the globe or on the map that are drawn north to south, but they measure east to west. So relative location is a location of places um, based on the position of other places. So for example, um, uh, if I tell you to go north or northeast or west, I'm telling you to uh, go in, uh, I'm telling you to head towards a relative location that is relative to where I am at that moment. The second thing of geography is place. And this is the study of physical features and human characteristics of a place. For example, we look at physical features uh, such as landforms, rivers, lakes, climate, and soil. And then we look at human characteristics, meaning uh, uh, characteristics that humans actually give to a certain place. For example, religious beliefs, uh, settled pattern, patterns, and uh, language. Human environmental interaction or human environment interaction is basically the study of how humans adapt the uh, environment to meet their needs. So uh, humans, we shape the landscape through interaction with the land. And some examples of this is dams, cutting trees, and building canals. So here is an example of human environmental interaction. Uh, we've, as the humans have come through, we've We've cut the uh, landscape up and we've built an, uh, a dam here to hold back water to uh, create you know, electricity. Here's another example of where humans have actually gone through and they've actually uh, cut down the trees and they, they use these trees as resources, maybe to build houses or to uh, build furniture. So humans do interact with the environment and we have an impact on the environment. That is one theme of geography. Our next theme of geography is movement. And movement is not just moving around, like I move from one spot to the other spot in my house. Movement means immigration, like emigration. So immigration means moving into one place. And the way I remember the difference is, uh, immigration has an I, it starts with I, M means to go into, and two, okay, and emigration means to move out. 
be aware, remember the camera creation is E uh, is the first letter of exit, which also means to leave a place. So immigration and emigration. So somebody might ask, uh, my parents serve in the military and we moved overseas. Did we immigrate to Japan? And the question is, no, you did not immigrate to Japan. You're serving, your parents are serving um, a, um, a um, your parents are serving a, a ba basically a mission to represent the United States overseas. And in that mission, they were they were required to leave and be placed or be posted in a different country, but they did not live there permanently. They did not move there. So when one immigrates, they actually move from one place to another. And we're gonna look at now we're gonna talk about why people move. Okay? So people basically immigrate and emigrate uh, for two reasons, push factor, push factor, and then pull factor. The push factor is something that makes people want to leave a place. For example, if I am in uh, my home state of Kansas and I don't like tornadoes or a tornado comes and destroys my home, I might be, I might think of moving to a different state as a push factor. The fact that I don't like tornadoes or tornadoes uh, destroy property is the reason why I would leave Kansas. A pull factor is something that makes people want to move to a place. So, for example, if you if you find out that there are a lot of job opportunities in the the field that you're interested in, you might want to move to that location. So, for example. Um, uh, right after World War II, or right before during World War II, a lot of companies, a lot of factories, uh, had a lot of job openings. So a lot of people move to cities where these factories were located. That was a pull factor. They wanted to be in a place where there was better employment, and those jobs actually pulled them or attracted people to these places. Okay, so push factor and pull factor. Push is pushing people away from a location. Pull factor is pulling people to a location. And then we have regions, our fifth theme of geography. The regions is a division of the world into physical and cultural regions. So a physical region might, region might be a desert, a forest, or a tidal basin. The cultural reason, or I'm sorry, a cultural region might be Islam or the Bible Belt. So, for example, uh, uh, in America, we have the we have the uh, we have uh, we have the Appalachian Mountains. Okay, and a person might want to live in the Appalachian Mountains because it's you know it's very beautiful, it's very scenic if, if you like that kind of stuff. So, the Appalachian Mountains is, would be a description, be an example of a physical region. Whereas a cultural region, you might go to uh, the Middle East and it's a place where the majority of the people there practice Islam. So it would be a religion that is, uh, it would be a region, we would call it uh, Islam. Or in America, uh, in the South, we call places in the South are called the Bible Belt because there are a lot of people there who uh, practice the religion of Christianity. So once again, these are this is a, an example of a physical region. This is South America, and this is a cultural region. I'm sorry, these are these are physical regions as well. But this is just a picture of uh, uh, South America. Uh, but yeah, so these this is a physical yeah physical regions. So now we're gonna listen to a song or a video. Grammarly helps make your writing clear and concise, no matter where you are. Compose a cover letter that stands out, thanks to flawless writing and compelling word choice. Inspire your team with a presentation free of errors in spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Impress your boss with a proposal that gets... One, two, three, four, five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. I said five themes of 
Our geography, we got five themes. Our geography. Location is a theme of geography. Location is a theme of geography. That's a location is a theme of geography. Location is a theme of geography. Location tells you where it is. Location tells you where it is. That's a location tells you where it is. That's a location tells you where it is. Five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. I said five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. Place is a theme of geography. Place is a theme of geography. I said place is a theme of geography. Place is a theme of geography. What is it like when you get there? What is it like when you get there? I said what is it like when you get there? What is it like when you get there? Five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. I said five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. Movement is a theme of geography. Movement is a theme of geography. I said movement is a theme of geography. Movement is a theme of geography. People and ideas get around. 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 Five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. I said five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. Human environment interaction. Human environment interaction. I said human environment interaction. Human environment interaction. What do the people do to the environment? What do the people do to the environment? What does the environment do for the people? What does the environment do for the people? Five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. I said five themes of geography. We got five themes of geography. Regions is a theme of geography. Regions is a theme of geography. What do locations have in common? What do locations have in common? Climate, religion, language, education. Climate, religion, language, education. States or territories.